What up, what up, what up, guys? Welcome to the channel for another vlog. Uh, today, we're going to go meet up with Serge. Should be a pretty dope day. He reached out to me uh, a few days ago. Said if we want to shoot, I think we got a couple other shoots that we got lined up for today. But uh, should be pretty dope, honestly. Uh, Serge is a solid guy, solid photographer. Uh, really great work, really consistent work. Um, so we should be able to meet up. Oh, I think this is actually him calling right now. Hold on a second. Yo. Yo. What up? Oh snap! Oh snap! This dude got me. No concern, no nothing. Okay. I see. <laughs> what up, bro? Um. So there's a spot. There's a spot. I think that has a dope vibe. If you don't mind doing two spots today, this could okay. be fire. Thirty minute G spot. That's fine. Fire. That's fine. Uh. So do you want me to meet you, you know? at the first spot or the second yeah, spot? So first spot, and then we'll drive to the second spot. I'm already here now. All right, yeah, I'll be there uh, about like ten minutes, so I'll see you a little bit. All right, I'll show you. I'll show you kind of what it's what it's gonna be like. So this is what we doing first. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah. So the corner vibe, and then we're gonna do a little boom vibe after. You know what I'm saying? Gotta yeah. keep it. I'm with it, bro. Gotta keep I'm it with real. it. So yeah, I'm with it. Yeah, man. All right. All right, bro. So I'm gonna All see right, you in a little bit. MDX. All right. And what? And what? I'm in a great MDX. Oh, you got rid of the cord? We'll talk. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> all right, bro. All right, bro. All right, bro. I'll see you in a bit. All right, peace. All right, I'll see you soon, bro. All right, bro. All right, guys. So, uh, little uh, when somebody says they're going to be there in 10 minutes, yeah. But uh, we're going to boogie on the way. The car's already warmed up. Uh, car's already washed and cleaned, so at least that challenge is already set. We just gotta head over and catch up with Serge, and I'm gonna see y'all a little bit when we get over there. All right, peace. Oh shit, what up, man? I got, I got some work to do, bro. What do you mean? <laughs> it's January and you got the wheels on. I got work to do. <laughs> nah, the wheels are coming off. Honestly, I was gonna take them shits off last week, but then you was like, "Do you want to shoot?" And I was just like, "All right." So, which is nothing because the wheels are only like right down the street. So. We just grabbed them and call it a day. So as you see my current situation, yeah, uh, we'll talk off camera. I need to pick your brain about some things about All suspension. All right. I got to unmom this dad with me. You okay. <laughs> I want to have your car here. You're going to back in. Okay. And then have your bumper kind of like diagonal facing the building right here. Okay. I'm going to shoot around real quick. The next location is going to be a completely different vibe like five minutes ago. Okay. All right. So... So I'll, 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 I'll go to the intersection and then back in and then boom. You know it's a federal building, right? All right, bet. All right, bet. Time to do some sketchy shit, sketchy shit, sketchy shit. Nah, no bullshit. I like the concept. I like the idea. It's really dope. Um, let me go back the car up and. Um, you know, parked with a line with Serge and we'll catch up and do the whole thing. Um, and also, if you're not part of the fam, make sure you please, please, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button down below, and I'm going to tag for, uh, Serge in the description box below with all his info. Show love. Great guy. Great photographer. Um, yeah, let's get to it. See y'all in a bit. Um, some of the portraits I've done, Yeah. I've used those skills in my automotive photography, which is mm -hmm. crazy. Mm -hmm. People are like, how you getting that angle? I'm like... And I, it's not intentional. That's yeah. the best part. Let me start shooting because we are black and it's cold. All right, bet. <laughs> All right, guys. Yeah, we're in a pretty dope spot. Um, I've always driven by this building. Never really stopped the park and taken advantage. Yeah, shout out to my guy, Serge, for doing this thing. Should be pretty dope. And uh, make sure you follow him to see the full set. All right, I'm catch up with you all a little bit. Grab some little B-roll stuff and we'll go from there. Done, bro. Oh shit. Just wanna catch a couple vibes. Yeah man. Yeah, man. So how's the family? How's the kids? The kids are good. Um, Getting big. Son is 10. Acting like he's 18. Daughter's Yo. Four, acting like she's 30. It's, it's a good time. My son, legit, Your in son the room the whole time. Oh, yeah, doesn't even know like 
comes off of food, goes right back in the room, chills on his phone, unless he wants to play Madden. That's the only contact I get with him. It's about a year from now. I already can tell. Bro. Now, now, yo, now Thank he's God he's not the only child because I'd be like, oh, I miss having him around. He's be so cool, blah, blah. You know? They need their time alone to kind of figure out who they are, right? So I get it, but I still miss my baby, though. I miss my baby. I mean, that's, that's, that's your firstborn. That's yeah, your man. Pop, so it's always, yeah, always got man. love for them. But I will say this. It's funny watching your kid go from, like, Thomas the Tank to Minecraft yep. to... Your dad, can I get these kicks? To I need a phone. To I think she's interested in me. I'm like, bro. Did this happen this fast for my generation, or am I just getting old, bro? Listen, man. All he talks about is go. Up. Listen. Yesterday we went to the mall. We go to Lace. I see a pair of Yeezys that he likes. It's like oh, you three fifty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, you like these? He's like, yeah. But he's like, no cop them. I'm like, what? He's like, hold on. Once I get opens up his phone, boom, boom, boom. He's like, let's go. I said. Let's go. All right, we leave. He was like, yo, dad, on GOAT, them sneakers is $117. Them niggas is bugging. I was just like, yo. <laughs> yo, how proud are you? Like, yo, I'm just going to save you. Like, yo, I'm I was so proud right because now. any other kid would be like, I want it, I want it, I want it. And think that, oh, yeah, the fact that he could brag about the price tag he spent 350 on him is what he cares about. But he's smart because now he sees that same kid. Now he's also too smart because he'll see, okay, my dad's about to drop 350. I'm cop these for 117. The rest of that change is mine. <laughs> you know how it was first? You go to the corner store, your mom slides you five bills to get that thing of oil. All right, cool. That thing of oil was only 350. But until she says, yo, where's my dollar fifty back? <laughs> so uh, I think what happens is for us, it was just on a lower dollar dollar amount. Obviously yeah. inflation, everything like that. Back, mm-hmm. back in the day, a teeny was twenty five cents. And then he goes, what's a teeny? I'm like, all right, we're done talking. Yeah, but you know, you kind of show your age. So we're gonna head off to the next location. Yes, sir. It's a completely different vibe. Get ready, y'all. All right, all right, all right. Yes, sir. Woo. Oh, it's brick. Yo. My knuckles, yo, that's why I kept only one hand out, the other in the pocket, bro. <laughs> Alright guys, let's head to the next spot. This is the hard road. Cause I never come over it, dog. Listen, I live like I'm a boss here, bro. I know yeah. all the, I know all the missing. Hey bro, check, right. this, check out this reflection. I just peeped as we're walking by. So each pane of glass gives you a different vibe. Check that out, bro. Look at the whip. It ain't even washed. This thing looks crazy right now. That's gonna nuts. Be gone, but yeah. You gotta take full advantage of the location. One That's nuts. I'm gonna find it before we leave. Let me take. Let me shoot. I'm just thinking about for Lashawn create creatively for him. Like, oh, come on, man. This thing will pull some shit off right here. So how long you been doing this now, bro? Cause. It's just so crazy how quick time goes by so fast. Like people ask me how long I've been doing photography okay. and I keep on feeling like I keep on wanting to say a year. But I know technically it's been longer a year. It just... All right, I'm gonna I'm keep it a buck. I have 10 years, but eight years serious. No shit. Three years, I just shot and shot and shot and shot. You know, the whole confidence thing, like you yeah. just wanna say, oh, come shoot with me. Mm-hmm. So I did three years and then the next three years, I had someone say, Bro, you're nice. Why don't you charge people? Yeah. And I'm like, it's just fun for me. So I did a bunch I get of pre-shoots that, that I year. I get that, yeah. The following year, I was like, I'm going to just throw like a straight price and then go from there. But seriously, seven, seven, eight years. Like editing, learning the craft, messing up, shooting. I, before I charge people, I have at least 10,000 photos. Okay. Before I, before yeah. I even. So if you look at like my storage right now, half is like all the stuff I've been practicing with. Yeah. And then all the stuff I'm like, I would send this to BMW. I would send this to Audi. I would send this to Mercedes. I, t- I mean, I tag them on Twitter. Some of them show love. So. Yeah, bro. So what? Yeah, so yeah. That's, what made you switch? I mean, besides you know the push from the people, what like was that thing for you that clicked? It was like you know what? I really want to do this. Like I really fuck with it. All right, if we're, if we're gonna go way back, I've been into cars since I was about six months old. Fact was when. This is back before car seats. I'm dating myself, everybody. I'm older than I look. <laughs> so, so when my mom would drive, my dad would hold me and start saying, that's a Mustang. That's a Buick. That's a Chevy. Same sh- Yeah. My mom said I would like make baby sounds. Like I would coo to that joint versus people singing like lullaby songs. Mm-hmm. So I've been into cars that long. Fast forward, been into whips. First favorite car was a Mustang. Everybody else. Lamborghini Countach. Yes. Tessa Rosa. F40s, right? Once again, showing my age. F40 or F50? Both. 
<laughs> I'm, a, I'm a Ferrari guy because of the motors, but I'm a Lambo guy because of the body. And yeah. Just put, it's just kind of like iPhone and Android. Mm. They get together, it's a wrap. Yeah. But it'll never happen, capitalism. Mm. Um, got into photography, because I've always been creative, I just didn't have the right outlet. Yeah. And then I realized, like, this is basically painting with pixels. Mm-hmm. Here we are, 2023. That shit's crazy, bro. Yeah, man. So have you gone back and seen some of your first, because I've done it, and I was like, damn, bro, everybody was telling me my shit's fire, my shit's fire. And I'm like, clarity tool is up, contrast is up. Like, honestly, I was going to do a vlog of going back to my earlier photos, bro. And I was just like, oh, man. I was forced to do that the other day because you know how you take so many photos, you don't realize, and I'm looking at like a terabyte, and I'm like, wait, half of this is me? Mm-hmm. Just redline. Not for, not the kids, not anything else. So I had to go buy, I had to go buy a storage. Bought a storage. Bro, I'm like going through photos, like I'm moving files. This is like a month project. I already know. I've already put in like six days. So I got another like 26 to go. Oh man. Y'all, y'all set the standards. So I'm just like I said, I'm just trying to keep up. I'm trying to get, I'm getting off the bench soon. You know what I mean? So what's crazy is that. Oh, this, is, this is not even my whip. I'm about to put this on my wall. That's about to be a new cover photo. That's about to be a new cover photo, bro. I'm not even going to lie. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> oh, man. Nah? No, my younger brother, Ralph, he's, he's nasty when it comes to portraits. Nasty. So he's one of my mentors. I got a homie down in Houston. Yeah. Chris Godfrey. Monster, Valerie Anselm, another one of my mentors. She's a monster as well. Studio work is second to none. Yeah, and hey. they're all part of the tribe, brother. That's what's up. My boy Chris Godfrey in Houston. And Valerie's here in Boston. My brother Ralph Vier, he's also here in Boston. Nastiest photographers you'll see that shoot humans. Mm-hmm. When it comes to cars, they defer to me. Yeah. I respect, but they don't care about that stuff. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> but it's cool because at least, at least yeah. I, I give myself some love. You know what I mean? So um. I mean, 10 years is a lot of knowledge, a lot of experience. And, yes. and the thing is, I don't know if because, like, how can I put this? Because I'm into photography more, I'm starting to notice more photographers. Or am I just starting to notice, like, more people are starting to come out that weren't really into photography now. But a lot of them seem to be hitting that rut, like, creatively, like, I don't know if I want to do this anymore. Or all my stuff is looking the same and things like that. I mean... If you had to drop a gem for them, what would you say? Because my biggest thing, like I tell people, is like, and I even have problems with this myself because family, life, whatever, whatever, staying consistent. Like, that's my biggest thing that I tell people. What would you tell somebody, like, if you could? If you're getting in a rut right now, get out of your comfort zone. Yeah. That's why I started doing portraits. Mm-hmm. And now I actually found a like for it. I'm almost a love. I got a like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Relationships, you know, now we're holding hands. Uh, <laughs> not, not there yet. Uh, yeah. But getting out of your comfort zone, uh, I've also done some architecture photography. That's dope. Photography, That's dope. Real estate photography. And then I'm still doing the car stuff, but I'm like kind of switching my focus mm-hmm. a little bit. And when you switch your focus a little bit, you start to realize you're starting to miss your first love. Then you go back, you incorporate what you learn from yeah. all those different disciplines, and then you become even better. That's it. Solid, solid gems. And I would say that comes from me working out in the gym for 20 years this March. Yeah. Nonstop. No shit. Nonstop. Off camera, I'll talk to you about that. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. That's all I got to say. He's another creative. He does video and he does food. So it's good to have people you can kind of um, let people critique your work and have them be honest. So yeah, because trust me, I went through that where it was, yo, it's just fire, it's just fire, it's just fire, it's just fire, it's just fire. And, and I'm like, like, all right, bump up the whites next time. Yeah, bro. You know, that that, that goes far because you're like, I can see that. And that the next photo, mm-hmm. great. That's why majority of like when I first started, when I looked on YouTube, everybody was like, shoot during golden hours, shoot during this, shoot during that. You don't learn nothing from shooting in the perfect time all the time. Like, so I used to be out here, bro, ask LaShawn, yo, December, January, February, snow, 12 degrees outside and at night and raining. Like, That's my weak point. Yeah. 
that this year I'm being intentional about shooting at night. Yeah. That's my that's my thing. I learned so hours, much. Like for golden hours easy. Cause lighting and exposure and all that stuff like that, like Oh. That and rollers. Yeah. Nights and rollers. That mm-hmm. those are the two I need to work on. Um, those rollers I like, Kev. High res Kev. Yo, he's putting in some work and I'm just like it's low volume, high quality. Yeah. So my goals, I'm a, I'm extremely high volume. Last year I did 73 automotive, 72 automotive shoots. The year before that I did 92. So my goal now is to try to stay within the 60 to 70. Range, yeah. But bump up my quality. Yeah. That's what I want. Yeah. Because like I like my work, I don't love my work, and that's not me beating myself up. It's just like you can do better. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know you have those same conversations with yourself. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> It's hard. It's like, I wish I could take the credit and say I'm my own biggest critique, but I'm really not, bro. Because when I got into this shit, yo, and I tell everybody I get a sticky way it's credit's due, LaShawn. So a lot of time when I'm shooting, I hear his voice in the back of my head back up. What are you doing? Why are you composing like that? That shit trash. That shit trash. What are you doing? Because, yo, he will keep it a buck with anybody, bro. He's not, and it's not to be a dick. It's not to be arrogant. It's not to be rude. It's, you need people like that in your circle, in your life to keep it, keep you humble. You know, you know you had like Jordan, LeBron, Kobe, not everybody was just sh- shaking their hand just saying, yeah, you're the best. Mm-hmm. I, I really feel like Jordan definitely beat himself up with the most out of those. Yeah. But there's people like, most likely their family members like, you all right? Yeah. And I'm like, I just won back-to-back championships. Mm-hmm. So I'm another one. Mm-hmm. And you walk away. And then you're over here like, that becomes like a new seat in your yeah. head. Yeah. going crazy. Definitely one of my favorite beamers in the area. So, congrats yeah, again. Yeah, man. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Rex. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm coming. I'm coming. One of these days, we, we both have our dream cars. We do yeah, like man. a photographer shoot. You know what I mean? Bro, it's just crazy I finally got it now. Like, the thing is, like, when I got the car, everybody said the exact same. Yo, you've been talking about this car for so long, bro. Thank yeah. God you finally got it's, it, bro. It's inspirational. Bro. And like, now, I, now I know I got to put, I got more, I got to put another battery in my back. And LaShawn said it best. He was just like, yo, this is the proof of speaking shit into existence. He's like, yo, you've been talking about this motherfucking car for so damn long. Yeah, My girl was just like, yo, if you don't shut up about this car, like, everybody was over it. Your head's going to explode. So I yeah. think, like I said, I got an idea for us this sometime before the end of the season. Yeah. Me, you, LaShawn, Antonio, a couple other dudes mm-hmm. do something here in the morning. It's going to be dope. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. But yeah, definitely one of my favorite builds. I'm not a fan of white cars. I like this car. Honestly, I didn't even want the... the I wanted it in the, uh, what is it, Minerva Blue. Um, it's the same color as like how my blue Subaru was, but, but it's more color, rich. This, because it's white, Yeah. it makes it... Because there's a lot... I've seen a lot of blue M's. Yeah. So that's why, because it's white, it already stands out. It's a yeah. sedan. That's not... Not the color. baby blue one, the royal blue one. I yeah, I yeah, I bro. I wanted to do that. Originally, I wanted to do that with the white seats, but I'm like, nah, I got kids. I can't do no white seats, bro. It's a wrap. I'm going to have McDonald's, like, sauce packets all over my joint. Can't. Kids so, like, daddy, can you ride your car? No. I was, like, blue with the friggin' peanut butter guts, and I was just like, I want it, I want it, I want it, I want it. That's a grown man's car. But I could not pass this up. Bro, I bought the car, and it had 28,000 miles on it, bro. You want this? 28,000 miles on you it. Stole right it. now at 31. You stole it. Yeah, bro. And the price? I'll tell you that off. Yeah, yeah. off camera. Please. Yeah. That's yeah. not for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. My guy Serge right here. Make sure you show love. Go follow him. If you need work, make sure you go hit him. If you don't, you're sleeping. Stop bullshitting on yourself. Today, I'm going to drop his uh, info in the description box below and all stuff like that. Give a follow. Show love. You know the vibe. Stay up. Stay blessed. Peace.